have you heard the news all about learning just released all about math and today I actually have a sneak peek copy that I am going to show you guys and give you a little flip through and a look inside so let's get started first up is the all about math teachers book and the neat thing about this teachers book is it is laid out very similarly to the way that you are used to seeing the teachers books for all about spelling and all about reading which means it is truly open and go you can pick up this book and easily start beginning your lessons immediately. So first up, we have the teacher manual and you can see that it is quite thick in comparison to the other like all about reading levels. Um, it's a decent size and it is the same binding. Um, so I personally will probably get the spiral bound just like I do with my other teacher's manuals. Um, but then you go into it and you've got the setup guide here, which I think will be really helpful. Great little guide that'll help you to know if your child is ready to start all about math one. And so these are just kind of questions you can go through with your kids to make sure that this is the right level for them. They do have this online as well though, so you can do that with your kiddos. It goes through what you should expect to get in your kit and additional items, like they do recommend having a dry erase board and marker and potentially a folder to hold your materials. And then it goes in and explains more about the method and what you can expect in the teacher manual. I highly recommend checking over these pages. They have a lot of great information of how this works and how um, their methods work. And then of course it gives you previews of some of the things that are in the activity book, which I'll show you more here about in a second, um, as well as the um, math guide and the printable tools. One thing I thought was cool is that this guide works really hard even down to their font. So they have their specific font that is designed to reduce the amount of number confusion and flipping numbers because like here are six and nine are the identical numbers. It's just flipped one way or the other. Whereas here you have a straight line for a nine and a curved line for a six and so on and so forth. So I just thought that was neat that they've thought about each of those details. Just like with all about uh, reading or all about spelling, it's designed to be done 20 minutes a day, which means you're not going to finish every lesson every day. It's got some encouragement for you guys. And then you'll go into the actual lessons set up just like you're used to seeing. You'll have your objective. This is what you're going to learn, what materials you're going to need and what you need to know before you begin. It's going to go into your teaching and it's scripted just like the other um, curriculum is, which I love. It tells you which manipulatives to use and has your kids doing a lot of fun hands-on activities. I love the fact that it also has all the fun reminders as well. So things like, hey, your child's not expected to count to 100 without mistakes until the end of this level. So don't worry if there's still mistakes. Um, there are ways of, hey, if your student is having trouble with this, here's how you can help. If your child, if this is too easy for your child, here's how you can make it more challenging and more difficult. And then of course they have a game and activity. And then of course you check off the chart. What is cool about this is you have all of these different lessons that build on these different skills, working on a mastery approach. And then uh, there are five different show me what you know lessons. Let me show you those. Okay, so this is the second show what you know lesson. So instead of there being any new teaching material, you're actually going to be going through and assessing where your child's at. You're going to be asking them different questions or having them do different activities to show what they know and to see what areas they might still need to work on. Um, it's great and helpful that they even have points where they're like, hey, if this is a lot for your child, you can break this out over several days and here's a good natural stopping point. So I love the fact that they have those little notes in there for you as well. You're going to go through all of those kind of review things and then you're going to reflect, you know, is your child ready to move on? Do they know what they need to know? Or do we maybe need to circle back and review another chapter? I absolutely love this so that your child is not getting bogged down. They can progress forward even if they haven't fully mastered it, but there's break points where you know you need to stop and make sure they understand it before they move on because those concepts are going to build on one another. And then they have ways for you to keep track of their progress with this so that you can do that and then they go back into teaching the next lesson. So I love the way this is laid out. I love the fact that it's a mixture of teaching and explaining along with activities and games for review. So all in all, I'd say it's looking pretty good right now. All About Math Level 1 is designed to be your kindergarten level math 
and some of your first grade level math. Because it is more focused on skills, it is not going to be as grade focused. It's going to be more about a uh, logical order of learning and it's going to help your child learn things at a developmentally appropriate age with lots of play-based opportunities for review. Each set comes with a student packet that has several different things. It has your math tools. These are special tools that you're gonna be using repeatedly throughout the math lessons. And so they are printed on a much heavier card stock and kind of have a glossy feel to them. So you'll pull apart these cards, think about them similarly to the flashcards that you're used to seeing in All About Reading and in All About Spelling. But you've got number cards here, you've got dot cards, you're gonna use these through all different lessons. It looks like it goes all the way up to 100. You've got ones that are gonna help your children with subitizing, which is where you look at a grouping and can easily identify the number without having to physically count it. You've got five frames and 10 frames that are gonna help your children with addition and other important tools. And I love the fact that these are printed on such a high, heavy cardstock so that you can reuse them over and over and over again. I think this is great. You've got your addition and subtraction mat, your base 10 mat, and then that brings you to your activity book. Your activity book is quite thick, you'll see, and is full of all the sheets and games and activities that you'll need to complete each lesson. So within this, there are a variety of different types of activities, like here you're supposed to circle the group that has more. Um, and then you've got different games that you're going to do where you're going to be matching. Um, you're going to be building, writing, drawing. Um, so lots of different ways you're gonna be interacting with the math material. There are lots of games and opportunities in here that you will not be required to do any writing with, but for the ones that you do require writing, you can either buy an activity book per child and do it that way, or you can utilize some of the tools that are in the Math Manipulatives Kit that'll help you make this more reusable. And I'll show you that here in a second. Of course, the activity book also has the sticker chart for your progress, as well as some fun themed stickers to go along with that. It has their daily review tracker where you can see what skills you're working on and list the date that you started working on it and the date that you mastered it. This gives you a great scope and sequence. And then you have the manipulatives kit. This is so cool that it comes in its own storage tub and we're gonna look into this. But this has all the math manipulatives that you're gonna need for levels one through five. So this is a one-time purchase, just like your letter tiles that you get for the other programs. This is going to help you in all of the levels. And it's a nice snap-on container that you guys can use to store all of your manipulatives. Side, we have a nice hard laminated ruler for your kiddos. We have the base 10 blocks. So we have the ones, this looks like it's tens. Um, we have the larger groups, like 100, that can help your kids with learning about place value and uh, counting with larger numbers. We have got the snap cubes. These are fantastic for helping kids to be able to learn about counting. We've got some counting bears in here. Um, it looks like we actually have two packages of those. We have counting um, dots or the little foam counters that you're gonna utilize within here. We've got fraction tiles. Oh, these are really nice, good quality fraction tile. Then we've got a protractor here. And then this is what is neat because it can be utilized for your child when it comes to those pages. So this is a reusable pouch. So you can take those worksheets, slide them into here and have your child use a dry erase marker to complete those fill in the blank pages. Or you could also utilize sleeve protectors if you wanted to. So lots of great options for you to utilize. And again, this is a one-time purchase and it all stores nicely inside the container until you need it. They believe in the free frequently asked questions, they said that there's pretty much, uh, there's only very few lessons that don't require at least one of these tools. So if you already have all of these things, you can skip purchasing this, but if not, I would go ahead and get it and know that you are set for all your math needs for all five levels. So as you can see, this is a really exciting addition to the All About Learning Library, and I can't wait to see the future editions of math. I'm going to be looking over these and pouring over these over the next few weeks, and then hopefully coming and sharing 
sharing with you guys some more insights and um, answer your frequently asked questions. So please put them down in the comments. Let me know what are your best questions about this curriculum. And I will do another follow-up video here in a couple of weeks after I've been able to pour over all of it and let you guys know some of the answers that you are looking for so you can make the best decision when it comes to whether this might be the right math for you and your family.